your days fly fast, but you still don't know how to keep yourself entertained? We have prepared a selection of life hacks that will help you cope with boredom once and for all. And to begin with, let's make the unique Mike Wazowski from The Monsters, Inc. You need three pieces of Fomeran of different colors. Cut out three round details, teeth and blanks for the horns. Make Mike's eye. Glue three circles of the Fomeran together. Now take a tennis ball. Make a cut along the white line. Attach a toothy smile to the ball. Glue the eye in the middle. Fold pieces of Fomeran with a cone. Attach them. Attach the horns to the ball. How wildly nice our Mikey turned out to be! You can make a great cash for money from this terribly nice monster. Let's make an unusual anti-stress accordion that will save you from boredom and help you unwind. You will need colored sheets of paper for notes. Lubricate the edge of the pink sheet with glue. Glue a white piece on top. It should look like this. Alternating sides of glue strips glue together the two piles of paper. It turned out a long two-tone accordion. This paper bobble works on the principle of a toy spring. It can be twisted in the hands as an anti-stress item, or you can just set it at a height and watch how beautifully the colors of a paper waterfall change. If you have never painted with sand, then it's time to plunge into this amazing form of creativity. You need a photo frame with glass and a cardboard box. Use a Christmas garland as a highlight. Take out the picture and the glass. Mark the size of the picture on the cardboard lid. Cut it out. Put the glowing garland of bulbs into the box. Using a double-sided adhesive tape, attach the frame with the glass. Pour decorative sand or semolina on the glass. Distribute it along the surface and turn off the upper light. You can draw with your fingers on the sand. And you can pour sand in a thin trickle and create bizarre pictures. This kind of creativity is so addictive. It's the third day of the brave prince making his way through the thicket of coniferous forest. And his way lies to the insidious dragon who imprisoned the princess in its sinister castle. And the battle to the death began. And our fearless prince won this battle. And he freed the beautiful princess. And they lived happily ever after. Happy end! Here's how to make your own home shadow theater. Paint a piece of cardboard in black. Drawing the spreading paws of forest firs, cut them out. Glue two coffee sticks to the base. Cut the figures out from cardboard and attach them to the sticks. Make a scene from the parts of the cardboard box. Attach a blank sheet of paper to the cardboard. Connect the sides of the box with scotch tape. Light up the phone on the back of the improvised theater. Call a friend for help and start a magical shady performance. Draw a voluminous illusion, which is easy to confuse with a conventional cutlery. Draw a spoon on a sheet of thick paper. Fill the sheet with horizontal stripes without affecting the drawing of the spoon. We decorate the spoon with such curved lines, connecting the edges of the flat strips. The lines on the handle of the spoon are bent in one direction and on the very bowl in the opposite direction. Thus the illusion of convex and concave drawings is created. Highlight the contour with the marker. Shade the picture with a simple pencil. Done! It looks very realistic and immediately I feel like touching it. And now, let's misbehave a little bit and make a shooter from improvised materials. You'll need a small Pringles jar and a gas stove lighter. Make a hole in the jar the size of the diameter of the lighter. Insert the lighter spout into the hole. Fill the joint with hot glue. Remove the lid. Attach a convex plastic cover of the right size. Spray with hairspray into the jar and close it. Take out the glasses and pull the trigger. The lid flies and breaks the pyramid. It's a strike! Follow the rules of fire safety and perform this trick only with adults around. Do you believe in aliens? If you don't, you might be surprised. Because right now, you will witness how a UFO brazenly steals pets and other stuff. Print out the image of a UFO. Cut it out. 
Attach the spacecraft to the vacuum cleaner's tube. Choose the figures of different animals and place them in the green, dense grass. The spacecraft slowly approaches peacefully resting animals and they disappear one by one in the depths of the flying apparatus. Then, let them think for themselves whether this is a prank. Make an unusual catapult, Angry Bird style. You will need wide wooden sticks, several elastic bands, and a plastic lid. Bind several sticks with an elastic band. Place the workpiece between the sticks. Wind the edge with an elastic band. Bind the structure with a knot. Attach the lid on the edge of a clothespin using hot glue. Print and cut out the muzzles of Angry Bird's pigs. Cut the hot stick with rings. Make an incision. Insert the pig into the incision. Place the targets on the wooden construction. Put a paper projectile in the catapult. Tighten the lever and shoot at the target pigs. Can you hit that bullseye? Is it easy to identify a criminal by a sketch? What if it's a comic picture with cartoons? Let's make it out of improvised materials. You need three paper strips with a width of two and a half centimeters and a length of 27 centimeters. Now prepare a paper rectangle with sides of six and eight centimeters. Divide it into three equal parts. Wrap the rectangle with a strip, smoothing the paper on the folds. Do this procedure with the rest of the paper pieces. Unfold the strip and draw funny eyes at each site. Decorate the second strip with different types of noses. Put images of lips on the third. Cut out a piece of an elongated shape from the transparent notebook cover. Wrap the paper rectangle with it. Attach using the stapler, placing the staples along the lines. Insert the stripes with pictures. Change the drawings in places and create a variety of funny faces. That's a funny occupation! Enough of sitting locked up! It's time to go out and have some fun! Here's how to play in the rings with a prickly cactus. Draw figures of oblong form on a piece of cardboard. Cut them out. Paint them with turquoise. Cut out two cardboard circles. Put hot glue on the edge and glue the circles together. Get rid of the middle. Paint the ring in a gentle pink color. Fill an empty flower pot with stones for stability. Decorate the cactus with bright green needles. Collect the cardboard parts of a prickly plant together. Install the cactus in a pot. The task is to throw the rings on the Mexican thorn. It's not as easy as it sounds. And now we will tell you how to build a beautiful voluminous city without a single brick. You definitely will not want to miss this. Draw the outline of a multi-story building on a sheet of paper. With the help of a paper knife, cut out the front doors and numerous windows. Make incisions along the lines marked in the drawing with a thick stripe. Accurately bend the picture on the dotted line. For clarity, you can paint the windows in yellow instead of cutting them out. A magical three-dimensional city grew up on a regular sheet of paper. If you really want to declare your love, then do it with a spark. You need a paper heart pattern. Glue strips of thick double-sided adhesive tape over it and attach it to the frame. Now you need matches. Many matches. Arrange matches in vertical rows, gluing them to the scotch tape. Starting from the top of the heart, fill all the spaces with matches. It turned out a romantic piece of furniture. You can even feel sorry to set fire to it. This summer you will shine like a real diamond. We will tell you how to quickly and painlessly decorate your body with temporary glitter tattoos. You will need a multicolored glitter, a transparent body glue, and nail polish remover. To begin with, degrease the skin with the nail polish remover. Draw a sketch of a tattoo with a capillary pen. Apply glue to one of the faces of the diamond. With a dry brush, tap the glitter onto the glue. Brush extra sparkles. Alternating colors fill the whole picture with glitter. How beautifully your new tattoo shines in the sun! 
And in this life hack, you will learn how to make colorful crayons for drawing. You will need water, plaster of Paris, and acrylic paints. Prepare the plaster of Paris solution, mixing water with plaster. Pour the mixture into disposable glasses. Add the acrylic paint to the plaster. Pour it out in the molds. We are using ice molds here. Let the mixture dry and carefully take the crayons out of the mold. Multicolored heart crayons are ready. Get your creativity out and paint the world in bright colors. Did you like our anti-boring life hacks? Which idea did you remember most? Bright plaster crayons, mysterious shadow theater, or glitter tattoos? Let us know in your comment. Give us a thumbs up if you liked this video and subscribe to our channel. Click on the bell to be the first to know about the release of our new videos. We are waiting for you on Troom Troom Select.